Hey there, welcome back and thanks for joining me. All my supplies and equipment are down in the description box below and they have links. Also, I have an Amazon store. They make it a little bit easier to find things in and I am an affiliate, so I do make a small percentage on what you buy, but there is no extra cost to you. And if you like this video, hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified when I post new videos, hit that notification bell and a thumbs up helps a lot. Uh, YouTube really pays attention to that. And comments and questions are welcome. Henry's already showed up. I didn't, I was setting up <laughs> and he shows up. <laughs> okay. I'm doing something a little different, a little different. Um, I'm, I don't want a solid background. So I am using slate. It's the only alcohol ink thing I'm using. The rest of them are going to be some liquid acrylic inks. Um, I have just fell in love with making these leaves, and I'm thinking, I just kind of want to see what a bunch of them look like. So, hang with me. This might be good. might not. I don't know. So, <clears throat> I do like a background that I did, and that was basically just kind of putting ink in here. I'm going to get it just mushed around. Not anything major. Just, I want it on there. And then I just want to put this here and there. I know. It's it's just, yeah. Mm -hmm. I know. So, get some of that. I'm trying to think how I did that. It made, it made it look blotchy or dotty or something. I don't know. But I think what I did was I just went back over something like this. I love these brushes. I've got those in the thing. But they clean up so well. <clears throat> and I think I just, I didn't do that. I don't think, anyway. I did stuff like that. I know. What is it? All right, I need a little, a little container. I don't think I need this big. Let me get a dotting tool. Those are much probably better. And these, these are great. I use these all the time. Um, there's 10 size balls on the end, but there's only five of these. So yeah, look at that. That's it in the description too. And I just keep doing this till I like it. I think that's what I did. I did them tighter. Yeah, this may be a minute. You may want to, and I think it helps that it dries because it when it's wet, it all just kind of mushes back together. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is just weird. I like it, but... It'll be cool for a background. Okay. I. And I like that the bubbles. I like this side right here real well. But anyway. Okay. Choice of colors. So here. Um, I had a marine blue. It's more of a teal. It's really pretty. But these go well together. And I'm going to accent with some gold. So, I've taken this one out. So, I'm just going with the sap, sepia, and phthalo blue, and the gold. And I'm going to double dip. <clears throat> I'm 
Okay, sorry. I'm going to double dip. Um, this is this is a sheet that I've peeled my labels off of. It's great for this. Um, because it's not porous, so it's <laughs> Henry's down there. He's decided I'm just gonna sit down here, not bother you. All right, so here is Thala Blue. There's a gold. I'll set that here. So I may, I don't know how much of that I'm gonna use. <clears throat> Put the lids on because good grief, I'll reach up and grab it and not realize it. Green and the brown. Now I got I don't huh, I don't know if I'm gonna do white. I probably ought to put some white here and not just accent everything with gold, but I do want to do some gold. Okay. All right. <clears throat> this is done. This is my catalyst wedge. Now I'm I'm kind of I'm getting better at it. I'm kind of sad about that because I liked my really bad leaves because they they looked like they were PC and they they weren't great. But I like the look of them. Now that I'm getting a little bit more control, <laughs> not liking my stuff as much. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah. So, just because I'm right-handed and it's going to be easier for me to go this way, normally I would like to go this way, but that means I have to turn my paper and I'm trying to hold it still so that you can keep track. Because if I keep turning, I lose my place, you might lose it, I don't know. <clears throat> so, I'm going to do that. I thought about doing a spray do a spray of leaves? No, I think I just want to do like a grouping of, of leaves. Um, first thing I think I might do uh, Oh, yay. I was going to say, where did I run off with that? So I'm just going to put a stem or two just to get me started. Okay, this will just kind of give me a visual starting point. Okay, here's my first one. I think I want to do a blue one in the background. This is my blue. Um, I'm going to kind of hit it in the blue. Yeah, I want that corner gold. Let's see what that does. See how much? Let's see. Let's do something here. Yes, I told you I wasn't that good. I'm ditching the background. <clears throat> uh, it makes me kind of sad because I usually don't like to start over, but that was not working and it's going to get, I didn't realize it would get so congested so quick. I'm going to stick with a white one. Let's, let's see what we've got. I'm just going to go with that. Um, I'll do half the blue really think I'm going to do the other way around. We'll do blue on top, gold on the bottom, and I'm going to start right here. Yeah, I'm not loving this. It's not picking up the the gold like I want. That 
that blue is really, really watery. But I think I like that. So I'm telling you now, when you're frustrated, take all expectations off the table and just play. Just move it around. Just get frustrated. Get aggravated. And then take a deep breath. Because you never know. You never know what you're going to learn. And you never know how it's going to turn out. So I got that out of my system. Wow. Turned out pretty good. I mean, I'm going to use it for a card probably or a background of something. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I learned, Henry says hi. Like I strange. learned a little bit there. I learned how to just start being very abstract with this little wedge thing. So it all turned out good. You know what? I, who through my frustration and just going, wah, I like this. <laughs> I do. This is weird. Might be cute for a card. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Sort of? Kind of? All right. Well, I don't know if I'm going to put this up. If I do, you see it. If you don't, if I don't, you don't. Um, geez. Interesting. Okay. Try again. Well, if you see this, take care. God bless. Okay. So, having learned some more stuff, now I'm picking up this old thing again that I just ditched a few minutes ago, and I'm going to play now. 
And so, you know, all that, oh, Henry, all that stuff that I thought I was just getting frustration out, I've learned some things. So I got some new bright ideas for this one. So here we go. No, I'm just trying. I'm just playing. Well, that went really funny. I'm seeing if I can't make like a half green, half blue leaf. Hmm. Now, I want to do something really maybe fun here. Um, let me go get a color. Okay, I got cranberry. And I'm going to use my Blanco. I am on the fly here, not planning a thing going by the seat of my breeches. All right, where's my thing? Here we go. Tim Holtz blower, cranberry, pinata blanco blanco. We're going to make little flowers. Oh, I like that even better. That acrylic is wet underneath and it's messing with it. That's all right. Because this is a have fun painting. I know I'm having fun. This is super quick, super easy, super don't care. I am having a good time. Sometimes you need these. Wow, I didn't realize I needed this. I hadn't painted in a week. I just need something to get me going again.
Do I do another one? I wanted to kind of do one here. I think I'm going to leave. No, no. I think I'm going to leave it. No. Gee. Yeah, it's too even if I do that. Okay. <laughs> I have enjoyed my play. Oh, my word. Y'all get out and go play. This is what I mean when I say go have fun. Just throw caution to the wind and see what you end up with because I didn't plan on that. Wow. Yeah. I'm liking the colors. I, it was fun. Good warm up. <laughs> All right. Y'all go have fun. God bless.